gotta go. Another pig, you gotta go. This countertop space, this is all gone. What is that? Can somebody... I have no idea what this is. I think it's just supposed to be art. That's a piece of art with butt lips. As travelers, we get up, we go off, and we venture the world, leaving our friends and families behind. But sometimes that shit's hard, and we wanna come home to a comfy spot that feels like home. Maybe we want a nice workspace where we can OCD-ly put all of our camera gear. Whatever it is for you, you know, I'm not trying to point any fingers, but... So I'm literally walking into this Airbnb for the first time that I just got in Lima, Peru. I set my bags down and I am going to evaluate the space, figure out what needs to go, where my stuff needs to go and take over because I'm here for a month and the first thing that I have to do is set this place up like it's my home so I can be comfortable in this space and operate at the most efficient, effective level that I can. Off of first look, so what I can tell you is the pig is cool, but it's gotta go. This whole shelf's gotta get cleared. It looks pretty, but it's not efficient. And this, oh, come on. Uh, well, I can't really show you everything. This and this is going to get fully taken advantage of. Honestly, I don't even watch TV like that. Those gotta go. Perfect. Oh wait, but this one, that's not for the TV. As for the AC unit, this one's gonna stay. That's gotta stay. I didn't even notice this little chest set. I wish my brother was here to get that work. And this. This. I wouldn't change for anything. I'm not gonna move this one bit. If you wanna know how I afford this and how much a place like this even cost me, I'm gonna make another video talking about how much this place in Peru cost me and how far the US dollar can actually go when you're traveling. It's such a privilege to be from the US when you talk about global travel. Now the reason I believe and I'm a big proponent of completely dismantling your Airbnb if you're staying in it for a long time is that I'm a big fan of home is where your heart is, but the truth is your space matters. Hold on. It gives off this feeling. It gives you a sense of home, even if it isn't technically where you're from. If you create your space in such a way that it feels more homey to you, then it will enhance your experience as a traveler and you won't feel so much like an imposter. So that's why I put all their crap on top of these cupboards. I'll put it back, don't worry. As a traveler, I'm all about getting your hands dirty and living the experience and going out and meeting people and actually being authentic with those experiences. But at the same time, as a long-term traveler and doing this as a lifestyle, not just as a vacation or as a trip, you have to be realistic with yourself and having a nice place to come home to is essential for the long term. You know what, I'm actually gonna leave this too. I kinda like this small library knowledge vibe with the nature vibe. I'm gonna leave that. I'm gonna leave this as a goal for me to be able to read it by the time I leave this part. I'm also gonna leave that because I like the natural feng shui. This gives me enough space. One difficulty I can already tell you with this Airbnb is this closet doesn't come with any hangers in it. I don't know if I am gonna buy hangers though. I think I might just carabiner my bags to this thing. Another side tip for you, carabiners are the goat when traveling. Except when they don't fit. That's when you call them for backup. Y'all, come on, you're not getting skipped. Although you are kind of cool. 
This is one of the coolest. Oh, this is a piggy bank. One of the coolest piggy banks I've ever seen. Should I name you and keep you out? Alfred. I think you should be named Alfred. You know what? You can go up on the top shelf in the closet. That way, every time I open it, your piggy face will be right there. That's King Pig to you. Ooh, the yin and yang. I might keep y'all out too. This is kind of cool. I'm pretty sure I'm going to end up keeping more stuff out at this Airbnb than anyone I've ever been in. I mean, look at these. These are dope. The yin and yang, the balance in life, come on. And now we're into the bedroom, which is mostly gonna be clothes in here. I don't have much to dismantle. Having it just set up is really important to me. Living out of bags is extremely uncomfortable for me. When I have like five day layovers and I'm staying with somebody and I'm like staying in their living room, that is my least favorite because I have this stuff, I have this bag and I have my camera equipment and I'm trying to work. That's the biggest thing is I'm trying to work and do my vlogs and do my photography stuff and just pulling stuff out of my backpacks creates this like nasty pile in a room that I don't want to go anywhere near. So having shelves puts my mind at ease. They don't even, it doesn't even have to be shelves, just an organized place where I can put my crap. These clean, dirty, those are clean. Those are washed with Dr. Bronner's, baby. So I have a little bit more to go, but most of this is just packing and not dismantling. But those are the main reasons that every time I get to a new Airbnb that I completely dismantle it and create it my own. And I think you should do the same if you're a long-term traveler or even if you're gonna be in a place for more than a week. Make that place your home so you can feel comfortable. Now remember, be respectful. You're in somebody else's location, so don't do anything wild. And when you're about to leave, I'll take all that stuff down from on top of the uh, cupboards up there and I'll put it back at least in close proximity so they can clean it and they don't have to climb up there and do it themselves. But be careful with that stuff. It is somebody else's stuff and if you break it, that conversation is gonna look different than if you were in a hotel. Again, I'm Ryan Fila and if you got any value out of this video, I hope you hit that like button, subscribe if you wanna see other videos on travel, self-development and some productivity stuff while you're on the road. I will also put a few videos right here that you can watch after this one. I'll see you next time and until then, try to live your dream. Peace.